and these mint cookies. Now you're going to start with one devil's food cake or chocolate food cake mix, two eggs, and then a half cup of oil. And then mix that all together until it is nice and well combined. Then you're gonna roll it into small balls and put it on a cookie sheet. Now these don't spread out very much so you can fit quite a few cookies onto your cookie sheet. Now you wanna make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're gonna cook them for six to nine minutes. Now when they're done, you're going to put an Andy's mint cookie on top of each one. This is You wanna do this while they're still hot and then your Andy's mints are going to melt on top. Then you just take a spoon, spread them out a little bit and they're the perfect little topping for your cookie. All right, my next cookie is called Orange Creamsicle Cookie. Now you're gonna start by adding two and a half cups of flour, three fourths teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. And you're gonna mix that together a little bit and set it aside. In another bowl, you're gonna take one cup of butter that's softened and mix it up. Add a half cup of sugar, a half cup of firmly packed brown sugar, and mix it together until it's well combined. On top of that, you're gonna add one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and go ahead and mix that together too with your sugar. Once that's together, go ahead and add in your flour mixture. And then, just like we've been doing, mix it till it's well combined. Now here's where it gets delicious. So you're gonna add two tablespoons of orange zest and then throw in two cups of white chocolate chips. You wanna use white chocolate chips because it makes it taste so good. Now once that's all mixed together, your dough is ready. Sometimes I like using these little cookie dough scoops. You don't have to use this, you can roll them up in balls, but this makes it so they're all the same size and they're perfectly formed. Now once it's all filled, you're gonna bake this at 375 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. Number nine is our pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. Now I'm gonna start with a half cup of vegetable shortening and then a half cup of butter. These are room temperature so they'll be easy to mix. Then we're gonna add a half cup of light brown sugar and one cup of just normal white sugar. Then you're gonna add one large egg and a three fourths cup of pumpkin puree. Go ahead and mix that all together until it's nice and well combined. Now you're ready for the dry ingredients. So we're gonna add three and one fourth cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. And then lastly, you have a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of salt. Now you are ready to mix it all together. Now once it gets really thick, I like to move to a spatula just to make sure everything is well combined. Now the dough is pretty sticky, so you can stick it in your fridge for about an hour or you can stick it in your freezer for about mm, 10 minutes. Now while that chills, I have a half cup of sugar and then I have one teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of ground ginger. We're gonna mix that all together because that's what we're gonna roll our dough in. Now you don't have to add the ground ginger. I just love it because I think it goes so well with the pumpkin. So you're going to take each bowl and then roll it in our little mixture and then put it right onto your cookie sheet. Now you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees and cook them for seven to nine minutes and they're gonna turn out perfect. Now if Santa needs a little healthier cookie at your home, we have our skinny chunky monkey cookies. We're gonna start with three bananas that you're just going to mash up. Then add two cups of old fashioned oats, one fourth cup of cocoa, one half cup of applesauce, one fourth cup of creamy peanut butter, four tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of vanilla, and about a fourth cup of chocolate chips. Those are optional, but I love just a little bit of chocolate chips in there. And as you know, I love my handy dandy cookie scoop. You're gonna scoop these out. You're gonna bake them at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. 